Yo, welcome back to another edition of I Got My Pots. Ha <laughs> ha. This your boy Trick Daddy Dog representing Trey 05. That's the whole Miami Dade, Brown, and Palm Beach County. Today we got a good show for y'all today. I'm going to be frying you some bon yard pimp. Yeah, that's what they call it in the chain game, bon yard pimp. You notice I got the whole chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean him up a little bit around the area. It's very important that you clean area man there's a, a very important part now what you have here see these the liver and the gizzards if y'all never seen nobody cook a whole chicken before these the liver and the gizzards well, we won't be eating that actually this the this the part of the meat that the, the uh the slaves was used to accustomed to back in the days because they thought they was giving us the the bad part they didn't realize we know how to make a way so, what I'm gonna do right now, show y'all how to cut this thing up with this sorry ass knife. Split this thing straight down the middle. Mm hmm. My grandma taught me this in the 80s. So y'all who want him. So I take him and cut him here. This part here is the leg quarter. What consists of, there's always gonna be a little back meat on there, so you wanna cut that off. Make it nice, you know. The leg quarter, let's see what we got here. Shit don't work, see? Get that shit out of here. The leg quarter consists of the thigh and the leg. You grab it by the joint bone, cut that, you got your leg and the thigh. A lot of people like to get rid of all the skin and fat. I do that today because of the cooking show, but I eat the skin. The skin is a good piece. The next is the white, the white meat. In this case, we have a large piece of breast. We're gonna do something special with that. But first, we get the wing off of him. Again, you're looking for the joints. and a knife. You got your wing, you got your breast, which I'm gonna cut the breast into a couple pieces. So it'll fry good, you know? Today we got a very interesting story. A, a world famous guest and a lot to talk about. Y'all keep it locked right here too. I got my pots. I got my pots. I'm Tamara and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. I got my pots. This next artist has been dominating the charts for the past decade and imprinting the music game with his various new sounds, collaboration albums, and capture worthy sayings. With that being said, here are the top five highest selling Drake albums of all time in the United States. Started from number five, now we're here with If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. It was released on February 13, 2015, and it went three times platinum on December 8, 2022. And this was actually a mixtape, but because artists release their mixtapes on streaming platforms for sales now, just like albums, is there really a difference? The cover art for this mixtape was redesigned so many times with fans adding their own spin to it. You saw it on t-shirts, reposted as memes, and used in witty captions. Now my favorite on this mixtape was Legend, and Drake must have been manifesting because he is surely making his way up to that status. Number four, nothing was the same. It was released on September 24th, 2013, and it went four times platinum on April 2nd, 2018. And this album was memed so many times, but this album brought us hits such as Started From The Bottom, Hold On, We're Going Home, Come Through featuring Janae Aiko, and All Me With Two Chains and Big Sean. 
which was a set the record straight when Drake said, came up, that's on me, stay true, that's on me, no help, that's on me, on me for real. I felt that. Number three, Scorpion. It was released on June 29, 2018, and it went five times platinum on October 31st, 2019. And I don't know where you were when this dropped, but I know my friends and I stayed up all night waiting for it to drop. But you know, that's kind of expected with Drake. But this album created several challenges, such as the mirror switch challenge, where two people would flip the light switch during the chorus where he says, I just flipped the switch. And when the lights turned on, the pair would switch clothes. Then there's God's plan where Drake was playing Santa and gave people money, donated to schools, and made it rain Benjamins in his music video. Number two, Take Care. It was released on November 15, 2011, and it went six times platinum on September 27, 2019. Now this was my favorite Drake era. The No Beard Drake was on fire, and this was peak Nicki and Drake, dropping heat back to back. They gave us Make Me Proud after the iconic MTV drop of Moment for Life, and I was here for each and every collaboration. But I think this is where Drake gained his reputation for being in his feelings from. The music in this album was so emotional. You got Crew Love, Marvin's Room, Shot For Me, Over My Dead Body, Cameras, Hate Sleeping Alone, Chef Kiss. Number one, Views. It was released on May 6, 2016, and it went six times platinum on September 27, 2019. Now I know I'm about to sound basic and mainstream, but Hotline Bling was a hit. From the dance, the simplicity of the music video, and the memes that followed. Plus, the album gave us a PSA on why you should be worried if your girl go to any season openers, okay? Don't let her go to no season openers, okay? And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. What artist would you like to see in the top five next week? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this is another top five on Trick Daddies. Yo, welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pus. This your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, representing that Trey 05. You know, when you ever, whenever you in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area, make sure you go by Sunday's Eatery. It's located in Carrot City over 108th, 3rd, 27th Avenue. Got some of the best collard greens and macaroni cheese you ever had, and ever, ever, ever had in your life. And I'm the home of the original Fried ribs, yeah. Believe that. And also, Sunday season is available online and available in the store at that time. And y'all saw, I cut up a whole chicken. To me, whole chicken are more, are more fresh. So now what I do to this whole chicken now, I'll season it. So my favorite season is Sunday season. If you know this, all the seeds I'm gonna put on this, all you gonna need. You ain't gonna need nothing else. Can't go wrong with Sunday season. And today, what we're gonna talk about is the black athletes. Now, I've I've I've, I've had arguments with some of my friends about uh, would I rather let my if my kid had a chance to go to a big school or HBCU and play athletics, would I let my kids still go to Bethune or FAM or, or Grambling or, or, or Southern or one of the small schools? My answer to them was yes, because nowadays it don't matter what school you go to. It matters on the individual. And we care more about how we look than how our kids feel in life. See, I'd rather my kid go to school and be comfortable with themselves than go to a school where they gotta be somebody else and fit in. That's why we have a lot of the young athletes making a lot of young bum head, like bone head mistakes when it comes to your career. Let me tell you something. I'm talking to all you young athletes, male, female, and others. Let me tell you this. If you got enough sense to pass the test that, that's required to attend college, you got enough sense to, before that, to pass the test to be able to graduate high school. You got enough sense to go to college and survive, knowing how hard it is in college, and to get drafted and, and to be allowed to play on a professional team. You've been blessed. You better count your blessings and appreciate the chances you got. Trying to keep it real, trying to impress somebody, 
Forget about the women. Forget about all the, the, the drugs, the, the liquor. Get you a nice house, a nice car, and remember everybody that was there for you. That's the group, your parents, your real friends, and real friends consist of those that tell you when you're wrong, those that remind you to keep the stay, you know, what you keep your head up and stay on your toes. Those are real friends. Your baby mama, if you was, if you was that, that kind of person that you was wilding out in high school and college and you got kids, these are the opportunities that you give your kids chance, the love and attention that you didn't get. And you have to be thankful that you are able to play in these people league. Cause a lot of people talk about, oh, the league is racist. This and that, that's their league. We need each other. We need each other in their league. They're gonna pay you millions of dollars. But what you have to do is, you have to remember, they don't owe you nothing. And I don't know, I don't remember how to open this goddamn. You have to remember, they don't owe you nothing. You got a lot of sports commentators. They go hard on the young fellas. They go hard on the coaches. They go hard on the sport. See, a lot of you dudes that sitting out there on them desks, on them sports talk shows, and on them radio shows talking that trash, you dudes is haters. Half of you dudes is haters. And I know a lot of you is, is, is going by your strip and living your strip, but don't let something you say mentally affect one of these little young boys who was able to do something that you dreamed on doing all your life. Let these kids live and enjoy their careers, man. And, and, and if you see them doing something wrong, instead of talking bad about them, go grab them up, call them and tell them to holler at you. Take them sit down and have a drink or, or a cigar. Tell them something positive, man. We need more black billionaires and, and multi-millionaires in the world. And we're gonna talk about that. That's on a whole nother level. But don't go against, don't go against the culture. Don't go against your color. Don't go against the grain. It's your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and I'll be right back. The I got my pots. I got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of I got my pots. Remember, if you're ever in the Miami area, you make sure you go by Sunday's eatery. We got some good food for you. See how we fry that chicken golden brown? We ain't playing, man. We ain't playing. I've been a lot of places across the world and been very disappointed at the food. And I can honestly say that uh, Miami probably got some of the best food. And I'm not being biased because I'm from Miami and I rep Miami. I ain't being biased. I just think we just got some of the best food. We got some of the, we got different cultures and races from all across the world. We multicultural, as you know. We got people from the islands and we got people from small hick towns as well as big cities. You know what I'm saying? It's just something about that Miami food, man. The way we do it. Something about eating some conch salad or uh, making you a nice conch fritter. Something about that, man. And man, back to what I was talking about earlier, man. My black athletes, y'all appreciate y'all self. Take care of yourself, look out for yourself. Beware of the gold digging women in the home records at that. Cause if you got a, especially if you got a wife and kids and you ain't got no prenup, they gonna be ugly for you. I'm gonna tell you right now. I done seen some, um, I seen Tiger wife take his money, knock his house down and build a nothing. Huh? I don't know what kind of beans she was on. I don't know what's going on with that. But when you play with somebody hard, there ain't no limit to what they'll do to get revenge, seek revenge from you. And you can't really say. So you have to be careful. And not only look out for yourself, but look out for other people as well. Because, you know, everybody feels is in danger and jeopardy at the time. And everybody, you know what I'm saying, love and hate differently. Like for some reason. Why do it seem like the police like to be able to say that they arrest a black entertainer uh, or athlete? Why do y'all go out y'all way to try to find them doing something wrong so you can see the, be the one that say that they went to jail? Don't you know that what, what that man has worked on all his life is not jeopardized now about you and your selfish, hateful ways? If I was a police officer and I pulled over all pro linebacker or, or NBA all-star, 
for a merely a speeding ticket. I wouldn't have no interest in what's in the car with him, what he doing in the car, who the car is. I'm gonna tell him to be careful, make it home safe, and I'm gonna write him a warning and send him on home. I don't know what's the problem with that. If you pulled over one of your, one of your, one of your girlfriend, ugly ass little children, you'll let him go. You pull over your captain, crackhead daughter, you will let her go. Leave the athletes alone. It's bad enough we got the commentators that are getting all the, the athletes and in the, in, in the entertainment. You got the, 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 the people that's doing the blogs and the, and the commentators. They, they saying certain things about people in the, in, the, in the eye of the public, uh, whether he's a rapper or a singer or a producer, whether he's a football, basketball player or a baseball player, they always have something negative to say about him. And then, you know, people have feelings. You push the wrong person button, it ain't no limit to what that person's supposed to do to you, man. So you need to stop it, right? You need to stop it while you're ahead. Stop while you're ahead. And, and I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but this ain't no, this ain't one of these meals right here What you got a question, when you got a question whether or not some poke in here. Yes, poke in here. Yeah, we, there's plenty of poke in here. Let you know that now. Don't even get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, that's a ham. That there, that's a pigtail there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of poke in here. Plenty of poke. And it make you even madder. I'm gonna get some of this poke juice. How about that? I'm gonna get some of this poke juice right out of here. I'm gonna do in the ghetto style, get some of this little poke juice and pour that on in there. Make sure you're here. We all don't like it. So as I was saying, to all the cities across the world, all you mayors, police chiefs, all you people in high places that got pull and power over some of your police officers, let's get more transparent with police in the neighborhood and remember why, why they are there and who they work for. Remind them sometimes that everybody need a chance and have them to ease up on these athletes a little bit, man. Ease up on them a little bit. When you see somebody messing up, you know, step to them, talk to them, tell them where they messing up at. You know, everybody need a chance, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs a chance. And I commend all of all the football teams, the basketball teams, and the other athletic teams, the team that coaches um, uh, Brittany Griner. I commend all y'all for giving y'all, giving you, your players another chance. Everybody deserve another chance. Some people deserve two chances. Some people just have fortunate luck, you know what I'm saying? I know, I'm a 70s baby, and my team ain't been around since that. Ain't been around and played nowhere near the Super Bowl since the 80s, unless it was at, you know what I'm saying, the Dolphin Stadium. But I will forever be a Miami Dolphin fan. That's why I'm pleased to introduce my next guest, one of the fastest in the world, a fellow Miami Dolphin, and a, just a general good guy, and he liked cooking because he drawled down on me when he first came here. I ain't said nothing about it, but I'm gonna address that. Y'all give it up for Tyreek here, right here, man. What's up, going OG? on? What's up, What's OG? Going How you doing, man? Appreciate you having me. Man, listen, man. I appreciate you for coming to the Dolphins. You gave me back hope. Uh-huh. You gave me back hope. You and Waddle give me hope. And, and, and I, I just appreciate it, man. I just I just need y'all to stay focused, stay out of trouble, stay safe out there. And I'm, I'm not necessarily talking to you because mm -hmm. you're not scared. Right. But a lot of players never want to go across that middle the way you go across that middle and get that slant. Now, in my days, you know, they done changed it a little bit now. Right. We was taught to play football like this. Those two screws in the middle of your helmet, uh -huh. you put them right here in the chest. Right. For y'all right now, that's a personal fire right now. Because, Driving with the helmet, leading with the helmet. Because you know why? It's all about offense. Like, people want to see people score touchdowns. Like, people oh, don't want to okay. see nobody getting a concussion or, you know, you know the situation that we had during the Buffalo Bill game. Nobody want to see yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, that was a scary, that was a scary, scary It's a scary moment. Like, yeah. people want to see fast guys scoring touchdowns, making one-handed catches, you know? That's what people pay to see, baby. 
So, but what happened to the, ooh, what happened to the, the Sean Taylor, rest in peace, my boy Sean T, OG, come across yeah. the middle, bah! I mean, you got that still though, but guys gotta be careful though, you feel me? I, I, I thought it was mainly because of the injuries and the big billion dollars of, of lawsuits that the NFL paid for the concussion, a uh, little scandal, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was because of that. And if, if that was the case, I understand that because some things you have to adjust to. Right. But when I see you all of a sudden get a dirty hit out of nowhere, I know the reason why. You just burnt that That's ass. Easy. That's you, easy. You see? Yeah. You just yeah, burnt yeah. that yeah, so now he waited till you ain't got nothing to do with the play and try to hit you blindside. Get him on out the game. Get him out the game. Send yeah, him get home. him out the game. I, I understand that. Then get what we're going to do. We're going to find him for uh, 30K right after the, the game. Come find on, him. Hurt them pockets, too. And a lot of y'all, according to what state you play in, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You play in New York State, you paying that luxury tax on top of the tax on that money. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, man, I know you got your big flag, your big football camp coming up. Yep. That's April 5th. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, it's sometime near April April 9th. 9th. April okay, 9th. okay. April 9th. April 9th, we're going down to Miami Dade County. Yep. Y'all go check y'all look online, try to find it. Matter of fact, we're gonna put the link below. Click on the link, a screenshot it so you can go try to register your kids something big. We appreciate y'all giving back to the to, to us, Yeah. To easy. the streets because if you don't give it back, you know you're going to pay it in taxes, right? You got to, man. And I tell people all the time, man, that hometown that you went to school in that showed you love, all the people that were screaming and cheering, man, go give them a, a $50,000, $100,000, man. They're going to give you a complete write-off. You put, you give it to your, your man to do your taxes. Mm -hmm. Do something for your community. And a lot of people, because we forget, because you work so hard and your main thing was, I got to get out. I gotta get out. I there. gotta get out. I gotta take care of my parents. Right. So me? when when people, a lot of people get been getting out, mm -hmm. they been forgetting about the people they got out and they live back there. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you to go out there and try to be real and sit on the corner and be there when a the drive by pop up. Yeah. But you gotta go back and patronize the hood and and, and, and show love and, and give faith to the people who was there who supported you because you're gonna pay it in taxes anyway. That's why I commend you. Now I'm gonna give you your flowers on that now. Appreciate it. You just got down here and you already doing non-profit. This been down here their whole life. This was raised and born and raised in Miami that we done cheer for, that played for the University of Florida, Florida Gators, UM, FIU, and other schools, right? FAU and other schools. And they ain't did nothing. They ain't take a Easter egg hunting. <laughs> they ain't put out no Easter egg. I mean, come on, man. Y'all tighten up, yo. Tighten up, man. One hand, watch the other, man. Help us help them, man. That's all, man. I, I, I commend you on that. So you got your, part, your big podcast coming, yep, uh, going yep. on, which I'm coming on soon. Come on now. Now, what are we going to talk about on, on, on the segment when I come I on? I don't know. Podcast? Like, we we may have to cook, man, and I may got to cook something for, for you. You feel okay, me? I, I, okay, I'll go for that. We can do that. I, I, I want to taste your food because I got a feeling I'm going to have to teach you how to cook. No, you ain't got to teach me how to cook, man. You ever ate fly, fried bologna? I don't ate, man. How you think I grew up? You ate spam? Y'all was eating all that. All that McDonald's, I man. Ate we all that growing up, man. Man, y'all had, had the kids meal. Where you grow up? What city you grow up? I was raised by my grandma, man. What city this was? South Georgia, like Van Oh, Chilton. okay. Well, I know. I, I, okay, I, okay. I, I, I can believe you. They make the business from scratch in Van <laughs> Yeah, they make the business from scratch. On a Saturday meal, they got the spread. They got grits, potatoes, eggs, bacon and other meats. I, I understand. Shout out to South Georgia, man. South Georgia in the building. South Georgia, everybody, there's a lot of talent. Florida, Georgia, California, and Texas. Pretty much run the NFL. Yeah. Um, It just, it just when, when I look at you, I'm like, this is my height. I, I thought you was bigger than that, nigga. What you mean, man? I, mean, I thought you was bigger than that. I don't you know see TV you. make you look bigger than what I, you I'm really just talking had. about what I done seen you did, the cornerbacks and safeties in the league. I done seen you elevate over and get the ball. Like, I, you ain't just a person. You ain't just a, a, a no disrespect. This ain't no shot because this is my main man. You ain't just a Randy Moss. Somebody with just speed, just throwing up there. Mm -hmm. I thought you was bigger than that. You grew up with a lot of hard because you grew up in a struggle. And that's oh, what right. I was talking about. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about 
the police. We don't want to defund the police. We just want to enhance mm -hmm. the police. We want to retrain the police. And then we need to, and they need to be playing their self, they, they consequences. Since they want to take all the athletes to jail and want nobody to get a chance, they don't get a you chance. You know why they do that though? You know why they do that though? Because then they can, and well, I feel like anyways, because then they can go brag to their employee, employees that, hey, I just arrested Sitchin Sitchin. I and, swear to God, I yeah, swear to God. And then they got this, about, man. and then they got this portal to when you high profile, you go in the database. And all the news know you went to jail before your old lady, before your mama, it's anything. Crazy. It's crazy how it works, man. You know how that feel, man? Your, your mama, your grandma done raised you, and she hear that you don't went to jail through a text message? That's what y'all do to people, man. Y'all got to stop, man. Y'all got to stop that, man. We, it, ain't, it ain't about that, man. Mm -hmm. Same people y'all are fans of. Same people, if nobody wasn't around, you would ask for an autograph to, or to take a picture. Easy. Like, come on, man, stop that, man. Stop, support all athletes. And this ain't no this ain't no color scheme I'm talking about. I'm talking about athletes, young men of importance, all race, gender, and age. Stop. Stop it. Leave people alone, man. We gonna, we gonna eat this chicken. We gonna talk up a little more about what you got going on. That's really what I wanna get into. Your predictions for this year, this season uh -huh. coming up, cause we got some we got an addition that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. So we can play a little hard on defense to give y'all more possession. We need on that. On offense. And um, y'all keep it locked. Stay tuned. Don't, don't go no f but we'll be right back with I Got My Pots. I got my pots. Yo, welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pots. I got my main man right here, the cheetah. <laughs> Cheetah in the building. The cheetah in the building. Representing Miami Dolphin. By way of a Valdosta, Jones. Coffee County. So what you what you so what what else you got going on besides your father? What you what you what you doing nowadays? I'm a man of many talents, man. You know, I do gaming, I got my podcast, obviously foundation. And uh, I try to like touch a, a little bit of everything. You feel me? Gaming like the like the PS Five, Xbox type game. Yeah, like kind of like that. But I'm on the computer doing it though. Oh, okay. You know, because they say if you playing the game on the computer, that means that you're a little bit more skilled. You feel me? Oh, okay. I I don't know how to do that. I, I'm 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 dumb when it comes to computers. I'm I'm real yeah. slow. You don't know how to use no computer? Nah, I can't use no computer. I can't do a lot of things. I can't even swim. That's crazy. I know. I don't even know what to say to that. I can't swim. I don't know why. I, I, Cause all right, so I grew up surviving. It was not. I know you grew up. Probably grew up in the in the field and, and doing things. But me, I grew up surviving. Mm. Like trying to figure what where, where I'm gonna get my next meal at type. And I pump gas. I rake yards. Oh, you was like sold a, newspaper. Yeah. So I, I was. Hustle. Yeah. I ain't have time to do nothing else. Mm -hmm. I ain't had time to do nothing else. I kind of did the same thing too, though. And and you and you should know what piece of the chicken you like, man. What's your favorite piece of the chicken? Uh, give me a breast. Get get them old breast. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a, that's a diet there. Get him some breast. Let me get that. Now I'm gonna get me a a, a piece of the breast and the old old wings. So you you doing gaming and all of them. You got children? Yeah, I got six kids, dog. Huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, man, I, I was kind of blessed to have um triplets, like kids, like three. All right, so I got three kids that are three year three. Then I got an eight-year-old, a four-year-old, then I just had another one. You got triplets? Yeah. Are they identical? Nah, they're not. But they do they look alike? I got two boys and one girl, so they don't, don't they don't look alike. I, because I just learned, I just learned from the, from the Hollywood twins that just because you look alike, that don't mean you identical. Mm -hmm. You gotta share, you gotta share everything the same in order to be an identical twin. I didn't know that, right? Because I know a lot of twins that look alike, and I thought, oh, they're identical twins. If I had to argue, I'd have lost the bet. You got six children, six of them. Mm -mm -mm. That's it. Nah, I'm going for 10. How many children your mama got, man? My mom, she only has me and my sister. Uh, what about your daddy? 
Me and my sister. So your, your mama got two children, your daddy got two. How many children your grandma had? So my grandma, she only had two, but her dad had like 13. Oh, oh, so you try to bring this shit back. I'm bringing that shit back. Hey, I'm, bringing that, oh, I'm bringing the South Georgia roots back, oh, baby. Oh, boy. Now, that, that's the Georgia I, that's the Georgia I know of right there. You know what's crazy? All my kids are crazy talented, too, though. Crazy athletic already. So it, it, it's true. It, it be it really it, it be uh, hereditary. Let me get some of that. It really be in your bloodline yeah, when it comes to skills mm -hmm. and especially athleticism. That boy got six children and he working on more. Man, you let the kids know if never you not there, and they need to come, they can call Uncle Trip. Hold on, for you eat, you gotta pray, bro. Okay, yeah, you, you right. You gotta pray. Mm. God forgive me. You gotta hold the prayer for you. You wanna eat some of the beans with the pork in them? I might. Oh, <laughs> you just lied before you prayed. Tyree, you gotta pray, man. You know you, you want me to pray? Okay, yeah, I wanna hear your prayer. All right, bite your head, please. Lord God, I just wanna thank you for today. Thank you for just this moment. Lord God, we come to you and just, just in forgiveness and everything in our heart. Um, thank you for the hands that prepared this food. Thank you for this group of people, this group of men and women. Father God, watch over our kids, our family, and continue to guide, guide us in the path that you see for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Your grandma will be proud of that, be proud of that prayer right there. Man, I don't know if you know, but I used to pray there back in the day. Oh yeah? I used to go to church every Sunday, pray there. So live on Sunday now. But now it's live on Sunday. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> but lead singer and all that. But lead singer? Yeah. I can blow a little bit now. Damn. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. You rap? No. Nah. You can't rap? Can't rap at all. But you can sing. Mm -hmm. You can sing though. Thought about putting out an album? No, sir. <laughs> No, sir. No more rapping football players. <laughs> no, that's why I say rapping is not for me, bro. Hey, why you say that? Football players can't rap or something? This is the big football to make more money. Them brothers be flogging. Oh, so they be, they be lying with All them do. diamonds ain't real. Wow. Damn. So how you balance your personal life in this football life, especially in Miami? Because it's some... Some well, eaters out here, man. I know they are. Now that you say you want 10 kids, man, yeah. it's going to be hard going to live now. For one, I live in Southwest Ranches. So I live like an yeah. hour and 30 minutes away from everything. Right. All right. You feel me? And two, I live, I live with my mom, my sister, my kids, and my fiance. So I really, I really don't do nothing. Like, I'm, I'm so dedicated to, you know, football and getting right. everything that I can get out of this football shit that. Man, that's crazy. I'm, that's I'm good. focused on it right now. Definitely, man. That's what's up. That's the main goal, baby. Hey, man. I thank you for coming on the show. You're well spoken. So thank you to your mama and your grandma and everybody who raised you. Your pastor. You got to bring that championship. Thanks to the Miami Dog for bringing this man in. This is, the, this is the biggest thing we done had since Dan Marino. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Ah, thank you, man. Remember. April 9th is going down. Go online, find out how to sign your kids up for it. All the proceeds go to a foundation that's gonna help another cause. So, I remember, eat a save a life. This has been, got my part. Ha ha! No, we no, we not eat no, hell no. I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no, Hey, this is the part of the show. Y'all already know what we do. I got two youngins in the house right now. I got Tyler Watts and Fat Cat. Fat Cat featured on the song. But Tyler, come here. Tell me, what made you put Fat Cat on this song? Yeah. I just feel like, I just feel like he the one. You know, he been doing this for a long time as well as I have been. Yeah? You How know, long you been just, doing this? Like, solid four years. Four years, and how about you? I've been I've been singing since I was four or five years old, but I recorded my first song when I was ten. Dang! All right, so let me see what y'all got. All right, bet. Let's go. Let me 
take you out to eat, girl, I know you love some shrimp You know I ain't come to play Anything you need, you ain't gotta worry about it Girl, I'm just tryna say Let me hold you down, let me hold you down I ain't even tryna hold you down Tryna lift you up, I ain't gon' let you drown Cute smile, but you got an even better frown It's a grin when we shopping round round town Off the lot, any car you pick, it don't matter Take the top off every time I'm hearing laughter Rap to her, man, she love the fact I'm a rapper Love hard like steel, it can never shatter In the wind, top down, yeah, we ride fast New clothes, new shoes, yeah, we popping tags Want Gucci, so I'm copping new Gucci bags In the club, having fun yeah, we throwing cash Memories, we got a lot We can make more Remember when we watched movies And we made s'mores New house on the beach That I paid for Let's try again And I promise that I'm gon' Hey, let's try again And I promise that I'm gon' Hey, let's try again And I, hey, hey Girl, let's get away Talk to me, baby Let me know what's on your mind You know I'm here to stay let me take you out to eat, girl, I know you love some shrimp You know I ain't come to play Anything you need, you ain't gotta worry about it Girl, I'm just tryna say Let me hold you down, let me hold you down That's another episode of I Got My Pots. Ha ha. Hey, yeah. Let's get away. Talk to me, baby. Let me know what's on your mind. You know I'm here to stay. Let me take you out to eat. Girl, I know you love some shrimp. You know I ain't come to play. Anything you need, you ain't got to worry about it. Girl, I'm just trying to say. Let me hold you down. Let me hold you down. I ain't even tryna hold you down Tryna lift you up, I ain't gon' let you drown Cute smile, but you got an even better frown